Hey guys, whoa, the sun is crazy. Is that better? <laughs> Hi guys, welcome. Whoa, my voice, <laughs> what is happening? It is early. Good morning, welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new here, hi, I'm Brittany and I'm a mess this morning. So I'm actually pretty excited because I'm about to go grocery shopping. And I feel like nowadays grocery shopping is such a treat because I barely go out into the world. But this is especially, especially a fun occasion. The sun, the sun. Um, this is a really exciting occasion because I'm going to a brand new store it's brand new in my area. It's new to me. We have these stores popping up all over Maryland right now. I shouldn't say all over, but there's a handful now that are open. And I had no idea that this was popping up literally 10 minutes down the road for me. And I didn't know literally until this weekend when Derek and I took the dog to the park and we drove past here. And there is now a freaking Lidl. I'm so excited. So I hadn't really known anything about Lidl until recently. My mom was telling me that she was at her local Aldi and one of the managers there was telling her about, this is like a long story, but basically there's an Aldi like 20 minutes from where we live and the manager there was saying that the Aldi that's by her the prices were getting lowered because all these Lidl's were opening and Lidl is like a big competitive competitor of Aldi. So that's how my mom first found out that there were Lidl's opening around us. And I knew of one that's like farther away from where we live, but I had no idea this one was opening. So I'm so excited. And actually the very first time I heard of Lidl, but I didn't even think they were in the U.S. was from a YouTuber I watched, Karen B. She lives in London, and I remember her saying that she would, like, she did a little grocery haul talking about what she got from Lidl, and I was like, oh, okay, that's cool. Um, I mean, I was like, that's a grocery store over there, and now we have them here. And so when I first saw this Lidl, I was like, I'm going, and I wanted to do my research because I just wanted to know more about Lidl. So they actually started over in Germany, hence the name Lidl, a very German sounding name. And they expanded in Europe and there's definitely some in the UK. I know there's some in France, but I think they expanded a lot in Europe. And then they first came to the US in 2017. So they're fairly new to the US and they're only on the East Coast. So I'm really anxious to check it out. I know that it's comparable to Aldi, although this store looks honestly so much bigger, at least this location. This actually used to be a Burlington Coat Factory, so it's a really, really big building. Um, so it's pretty early. It's not even 8.30 yet, and I'm going to try to get some footage in the store if I can. My mom's actually meeting me here because she wants to check it out. So I'm waiting for her, but we're going to go inside soon and I really hope I can get some footage and if not, we'll definitely do a little haul video afterwards. That way I can show you guys what I got and how much everything costs. But I'm so excited. I need produce so freaking bad right now. I have like one apple left in my fridge and a sad little bag of baby carrots to like about to go bad. So definitely excited for some new produce and to see what they have. Mommy! It's really, well, it's early for me because I don't have to go out into the world this early anymore. Oh, it's very early for me. We also both work out, we woke up at 5.30 not planning to, so we're going to be struggling later. Yes, we are. All right, so the research you did on Lidl. Lidl. It's pronounced Lidl, not Lidl. It rhymes with needle, and that's on their webpage. <laughs> <laughs> oh, is it? Yeah. I actually didn't see that. And, or maybe it was an article I read. They're twice the size as Aldi. And savings wise, their biggest savings are on the weekend. Saturday Real, oh, and Sunday. so they discount stuff on the weekend? Yeah. Oh, that's Bigger interesting. Than during the week. I guess that makes sense though, because most people grocery shop on the weekend. Yep.
guys, I'm back from Lidl. Holy moly, that was literally life-changing. First of all, I can't get over how freaking big that store was. It was so big. Aldi seems like so small compared to Lidl, at least my Lidl. My Lidl was massive and there was so much to choose from. I feel like my mom was getting annoyed with me because I was just bouncing around all over the store, but there was just so much to take in. I am so excited that this is right up the road for me. So I'm going to get my stuff unpacked and I'm going to show you guys what I got and yeah, let's do it. Also, Oreo, you don't want to be in it? <gasps> Say hi to the people. He was just eating some breakfast. All right, let's start with my cold stuff because I need to get this in the fridge and freezer. I got some ground beef. I got some ground pork. I'm gonna make a zucchini lasagna, so that's gonna be for that. Some Italian sausages. I got Derica steak, some shrimp and some scallops. And then I got some ham just for lunches. I got milk, some yogurt. I got some ricotta cheese and mozzarella for that lasagna, Parmesan sour cream, lots of cheeses, and some whipped cream. We've been on this whipped cream with our coffee and hot chocolate kick, so I got a replacement whipped cream. And then I got some of our favorite cauliflower rice. Um, this one I've actually never seen before, and it has lemon and garlic in it. So I love these just for easy sides or just to supplement rice. And the most shocking and amazing part of Lidl is the fact that they have a really good mix of their brand stuff but they also have name brand stuff which was amazing so like this I would find at my normal grocery store and I could find at Lidl and the price was cheaper than what was in the regular grocery store. Okay and now I just have some household items and pantry staples so I got mouthwash for Derek and I because we're both out of mouthwash I got some laundry detergent. I got some cereal, um, the knockoff version of Rice Chex. Um, my favorite cereal, I'm a very boring person and I like all of the cereals with no sugar. Definitely better for my waistline. I also got some just tomato products, diced tomatoes, tomato paste, tomato sauce, beef stock. I wanna make a roast soon, so I wanted to have it on hand and we don't have any. I got all of my favorite seasoning packets that I like to make various crock pot meals with. I got some sugar because we're low on that. And then I got some pickle chips. We're also out of that. I also love snacking on pickles. And then I got vegetable oil, um, which we're out of. Funny story, I made cinnamon rolls over Christmas and I needed exactly one cup of vegetable oil and my vegetable oil was so low but it ended up being exactly one cup and I was like, oh my goodness, thank goodness because it was one of those moments where I was already in it and I really didn't have time to run out to a store. So I made sure to restock that. And then I found these on like the end of an aisle and they're energy drinks and Derek really likes energy drinks, but he's doing keto right now. But these actually have Oh, I got that wrong. Wait a second. This one has carbs. Dang it. Was it this one? Oh, okay. This one doesn't have carbs. Okay, well, he'll have to drink those when he's done his keto diet. But I only got four so he could try them because I, I wasn't sure how he'd like them. Now we have all my produce. So I got some romaine and stuff for salads, bell pepper, tomatoes, asparagus for Derek, some mushrooms, some more baby carrots. I snack on those almost every day. I got blueberries, zucchinis, and then mini avocados. These are my favorite types of avocados because one is perfect for one serving. Also, literally I've never seen these before, but these are little cucumbers. They're just little minis. They look like gherkins and you can just snack on them. So I can just wash these and put them in a little container and just grab them for dipping and whatnot. So those are super cute, that was exciting. Also, these apples are adorable. And get this, this entire bag of apples was only $1.29. $1.29 for all of these, that's insane. And this has been my favorite fruit to put in the fridge because they last so long. And so even when I'm running low, 
on produce. I can always keep apples in there, so at least I have something. And these are just the perfect size because honestly, I've been buying these huge apples and then I usually have to cut them in half because they're too much. So these will be great because I can just eat one and it will be plenty. And also I got these oranges that just look so beautiful. Aren't those the brightest oranges you've ever seen? So I'm so happy to be restocked on my produce. And it was also not inexpensive. I cannot wait to tell you the price of everything I bought. It's insane. I also got toilet paper and paper towels, 30 rolls of toilet paper. It was a special today for $13.99. Is that not the best deal you've ever heard of? And then the paper towel, this was six rolls and I think it was around $6.99. So roughly a dollar per roll and it looks like it's the nicer, thicker type of paper towel. So that's awesome. And then lastly, I also got some seltzer waters. We just always love to have these lying around. So I got their brand. All right, so that is everything. I am so happy to be restocked on all of my goodies. I have all the meats, all the produce, all of the pantry staples and household items and get this it was only a hundred and sixty eight dollars what the best thing about all that stuff that stuff is gonna last me for a couple weeks so I'm just so impressed by how much I got for so little and I definitely think you know, since we've been at home more, we have been doing like more Instacart and that kind of stuff from regular grocery stores. And it adds up really fast. And sometimes I'll get our Instacart stuff and we usually order from Giant. And I'm like, wait, this is all we got. This was so expensive. So when I went through, through the checkout today at Lidl, I was thinking this is gonna be like 250. This is gonna be a lot. It was $100 less than I thought it was gonna be. So that is freaking phenomenal. Overall, I was very, very impressed by Lidl. I, I honestly, my expectations were, I don't wanna say they were low, but I was just thinking it was gonna be like Aldi, which don't get me wrong, I like Aldi, but Aldi, the struggle with Aldi is it's such a small selection. like. Aldi is one of those stores that you go when you're like, oh, I need a couple things. I need some meat. I need some produce. You can't really get a ton of household items there. You can, but they just don't have a wide selection. They also have name brand stuff, but not a lot. Lidl had such a big variety for pretty much everything. Produce, ton of stuff. They had salad kits. They had pre-cut veggies, pre-cut fruit. It felt more like a regular grocery store than it did an Aldi. And I am so happy because it's literally right up the road from me. I can totally see myself shopping there on a regular basis. Of course, I'm not going to the grocery store every week, but I do feel like that is a grocery store that you legit could go to every week as your one and done. They had toilet paper they had a really good cosmetic section where you know they had you know mouthwash cotton balls deodorant toothpaste they had a good selection of all of that stuff and that's the kind of stuff that normally if I were going to go to Aldi I could not get there so overall I loved it they had a really good selection of snacks Freezer food, their bakery looked bomb. Of course, I'm trying to stay away from that stuff right now and cut out bread and stuff like that. Derek's doing keto, so I'm obviously not buying a lot of stuff like that. Um, but they had a really, really good selection. I got Derek some frozen seafood that was really inexpensive. The meat prices were not bad at all. And I don't mind buying off-brand stuff, so if you are fine with it, you're gonna love Lidl. It was so inexpensive and I'm sure I saved so much money compared to if I were gonna do an Instacart order. So I'm so happy. I definitely think in the new year, I wanna, we're spending so much money on groceries, which is understandable because we're really not eating out anymore now that we're at home the majority of the time. But I would really like to focus on budgeting more for my groceries 
really eating out of our pantry and our fridge because we do have a lot of stuff in the freezer that we need to work through. So I think that that will be a goal of mine in the next couple weeks is kind of to just work through my pantry and freezer and then supplement with shops at Lidl for miscellaneous things that we need. I also thought as far as COVID goes, it was good. Like when you walked in, they actually had two sanitizing stations where you could spray your cart down and they had paper towels, they had hand sanitizer, they even had plastic gloves if you wanted to put gloves on, um, which was really cool. I honestly haven't seen that anywhere. Um, you do need to bring reusable bags. If you don't bring reusable bags, you have to buy the paper bags, similar to how Aldi does it. And then you do have to bag your own stuff. Um, I'm trying to think of what else. Uh, the produce is set up the same way as Aldi. So it's in those giant boxes and then they basically like pull them all out once they're empty. But it was really spread out, not as crowded as Aldi usually feels because Aldi's such a smaller store. The only thing that was slightly overwhelming was there was a ton of stock workers and it might have just been because we went so early in the morning that they were still trying to work through stocking the produce section. So that was a little overwhelming because it wasn't like the store was crowded. There weren't a ton of customers. It was more so that there were a lot of employees trying to get the floor stocked. But everyone was super friendly. Everyone was really nice. The cashier who checked us out was super nice. And I got a $10 coupon to use on my next visit. It's $10 off of 30, which is great. I mean, like literally if I went in for just some like produce and dairy stuff, that would probably cost me $30 and I would get $10 off. First Lidl shop was a success. I am super content with all my purchases. I am so happy. I am also very hungry and I need to recaffeinate and I actually got Chick-fil-A breakfast that's sitting on the counter that is calling my name. So I hope you guys enjoy this video and crossing my fingers that a Lidl opens near you. It is really an awesome store and it's good news that there's a couple of them popping up in Maryland. I know it's only on the East Coast right now, but I feel like now that they're expanding in the US, there's a really good chance that they'll start making their way across the country. I hope you guys are all doing well and staying safe. And I hope you guys all have a healthy and happy new year. How amazing is it that we are ringing in a brand new year, 2021. It's gonna be great. And thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you're new here, I hope you'll subscribe for more lifestyle, beauty, and travel content. And until next time, see ya.